okay today we will discuss on how to calculate the lod alloc values based on a standard deviation of the slope now basically there are three methods in given in the ICH guidelines the first is the based on the visual evaluation the second is based on signal to noise ratio and the third is based on the standard deviation of the response and the slope now in this particular video we will calculate the LOD LOQ values using this third method okay now to calculate this we have to go to our excel sheet now in my excel sheet i have plotted the x and y axis on the x concentration i have taken the concentration of the drug and on the y axis is the area corresponding to these concentrations now first of all we have to plot a linearity graph so that we can get the value of slope from this graph and also we get an idea that whether our areas corresponding to that concentration is linear or not now after plotting this graph we can customize and make our custom decorations of this linearity graph like area concentration and anything else you want to do now after plotting this graph we have to calculate the regression values given on this right side of this excel sheet and from these values we will get the lod LOQs values after giving putting this values in the formula now first we have to enable and calculate this data analysis regression values from the data analysis of from the excel sheet the data analysis mode i have copied this x and y values from the first sheet and now to activate the data analysis we have to go on this file section and click here and after that we have to click on excel options and you will get an options of add-ins we have to click on add-ins and then click on go section and we have to check on the analysis tool pack and click on ok now after this we can go in our data section and check that data analysis mode is enabled this will give you all the regression values and the statistics values whichever you need after selecting this we have to select the y values first and then we have to select the x values which are the concentrations here okay now after selecting this we have to tick on these residuals on standard residuals and the residual plot and what is the output range it means from which cell we have to get this for example i am selecting this cell now when i will click enter and ok the values will be st started from this cells ok now you can see all the regression values relating to these concentration and areas are here and from these values we will calculate our LOD LOQ values okay now first you can see here all the regression values this up is the standard error now this standard error is residual standard deviation of regression line okay now this is the slope value where it is given variable when i have circled this now we can match these values what in our y is equal to mx plus c equation we can see here this slow value is matching here and another value is the standard error this is the standard deviation of y intercept of regression line now these two values are used in calculation of the lod loq values now we can read and see here that based on the calibration curve this section you can read it clearly a specific calibration curve should be studied using samples containing an analyte in the range of detection limit it means that we have to make concentrations in the limit of lod aq values and the residual standard deviation of a regression line or the standard deviation of y intercept of regression lines may be used as the standard deviation it means we don't have to use the normal standard deviation value we have to use this standard error values which is the residual standard degradation or regression line of x y and this is standard error standard deviation of y intercept of regression line these two values will be used to calculate the lod allocus value now we have to check whether the standard error is correct or not we can use this excel equation std steyx from this we will get that this standard error value is correct or not 
we have to select this y values and x values and after and clicking on enter we will find this the x standard error values is also correct so whatever of we are calculation we are proceeding is the correct one now we have the two formulas f for lod we have 3.3 .3 into residual of st standard deviation of regression line divided by slope similarly we have loq values 10 into residual sd by slope we can see here 3.3 .3 into residual standard deviation of regression line so we have to select this value and divide it by this slope okay we will select here and put in the formula and i will put this values in two digits now we can see here our 0 0.02 is the lod for this concentration and area values similarly we will calculate the loq value 10 into residual standard deviation we will select this value from here and divide it by slope value and we will get the loq values and also this value also i will convert it 